what is Donet Maui? Donet Maui is the evolution of summary forms extending the mobile scenarios to the desktop with a new UI framework made for the search of performance and extensibility. So this is the evolution of Xamarin Forms. It's a cross-platform native UI. That means that we have an abstraction that uh, allow us to write once and uh, execute the same application in different platforms. And to achieve that, we have a bridge between that abstraction and every native platform. So at the end, we are creating a native application. So when we have, for example, a uh, button in the abstraction, we are mapping that, for example, to an UI button on iOS. So that is how it works. We are using a native UI, having a single project, a single code base that allow us to deploy to multiple devices, including mobile and desktop. As we said before, it's the Shaman Informs evolution and released after Netflix. Actually, at the moment of record this video, we are in Net7. So it's available with uh, Net7, of course, Netsys, and allow to create a beautiful user interface for different devices. What are the platforms supported? So Donet Maui support desktop and mobile, uh, it supports Windows macOS, iOS, and Android. To support iOS and Android, it used .NET for iOS and .NET for Android, while in the case of macOS, it used Catalyst, the macOS support, and it used WingUI for the Windows support. It used SDK style project with a single project, also have command line support. We can, for example, create project or compile projects using the command line, release it with uh, NetSys. So NetSys BCL, uh, it supports HTML and c -sharp to create the user interface. And also it's Blazor ready. So it's have a Blazor hybrid kind of project that allow you to embed Blazor in a native frame using .NET MAUI. The compatibility with Xamarin Forms, it uh, try to have the minimal API chain. So there are many APIs that are exactly the same between Xamarin Forms and .NET MAUI. So for example, many of the controls are the same name, the same property, the same with the layout, etc., etc. There are a tool to help in the process of the migration from uh, Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI and the support of Xamarin Forms still continues two years after the release of .NET MAUI. We can create projects using Visual Studio with file new .NET MAUI application. From the command line, we can use a .NET new MAUI to create a new application. And if you have worked before with Xamarin Forms, the namespace has changed a little bit so it passed from Xamarin Forms to Microsoft uh, MAUI namespace. There are four main goals with .NET MAUI. So the main change from Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI have four goals to achieve. The first goal is quality. Increase the quality from Xamarin Forms, reorganizing the project structure, changing and deprecating all stuff, increasing the number of testing, etc., etc. It also has in mind increase the performance. There are two ways to increase the performance compared with um, with Xamarin Forms. One of them is different chains, reducing, for example, the use of reflections to avoid complex stuff at the startup of the applications, achieve a faster startup and also reduce the nesting of views. So for example, in Xamarin Forms, use the renderer architecture, while in .NET MAUI has changed to the new handler architecture. One of the main changes is mainly how the views are created and reduce the nesting of views. So in Xamarin Forms, the renderer, for example, to create the slider in Android was creating a parent view group to do 
stuff related with positioning and sizing of uh, the native view while in .NET MAUI that is not longer used and is no longer necessary. It just directly creates the native control but without wrapping it in a, a container. Also, there are different ideas to extend the possibilities with design, include more UI APIs, like for example, uh, new layout, new containers, like the border, to achieve different kinds of uh, borders with different effects, etc. More UI APIs, like for example, draw shadows, etc. etc. And the supported platforms are, as we mentioned before, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows. And the most important thing here is that Moose have APIs parity. So if uh, Donet Maui includes a new API, like for example, Shadows on Android and iOS, the same API must be implemented with all the same possibilities also in the rest of the platforms. The .NET MAUI architecture is uh, not complex. At the end, the um, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows APIs are unified into one abstract API that allow you to uh, write ones and run on any of the supported platforms. At the beginning, you have your app code that primarily interacts with the .NET MAUI API. Then the .NET MAUI API interact with uh, WingUI, Catalyst, .NET iOS, and .NET um, Android that also interact with the .NET 6 BCL. As uh, your application code need can directly access, of course, to platform APIs directly. So it can interact with, uh, I don't know, WingUI, for example, via handlers, via effects or using the mappers uh, directly. And this is more or less in a simplified way the .NET MAUI architecture. It includes more than 50 page layouts and controls that can be used from code behind or shaml. You can use in shaml a two-way data binding model with uh, also include support for different navigation patterns allow you to use custom handlers, an animation API, dependency management. There are different layouts. The layout class in .NET MAUI is a subtype of view that acts like a container of other layouts or views. Uh, and the main function is use uh, set the correct position and size of uh, the child. We have the stack layout that play child on a single line oriented vertically or horizontally. The absolute layout that plays child in a, a absolute requested positions. The relative layout use some constraints to lay out its children. Then we have the grid that uh, arrange uh, the views in different rows and columns. The content view and content presenter are used mainly to create uh, custom controls. Uh, for example, the content view is used uh, a view with a single content that uh, can be anything. So it's typically used to create other controls uh, with a composition of, of views. The scroll view is an element capable of scrolling its content when it's required. Then we have the frame and the border as element that can uh, have a single child, but uh, with different border options, we can manage the stroke, the stroke thickness and different options of the border. The templated view is uh, similar to the content view. It's used to create um, views that uh, can define the content using a template. It's also used mainly to create templated controls, but have many other usage. And the flex layout is used to arrange views horizontally or vertically with wrapping options. Then, then we have many views. Every view refers in .NET MAUI to the visual objects, like, I don't know, button, text, or input boxes that are used to create the user interface. In other words, it's called also controls or even widgets. We have a big amount of tents from single ones like the box view button or a single slider to a more complex controls like a web view, collection view, or even for example, uh, the border control.
if you want to know what are the possibilities with .NET MAUI, there are a nice repository in my GitHub called .NET MAUI Showcase with a big amount of open source projects used, for example, replicating a triple design or a real application. And the interesting thing is that you can see uh, everything about the sample. For example, this Mitawi Wither application, it's an application for uh, writing with, with .NET MAUI that is using, for example, the Community Toolkit, the MBBN Community Toolkit, it's using, for example, many uh, APIs like shapes, uh, gradients with brushes, shadows, etc., etc. You have all the information about uh, the sample, like uh, who created uh, the source code, even if you have videos or blog posts, you have a link to that blog post. So you can access to the repository. You can get more information about it, how it works, and uh, how to you know get the necessary, for example, API keys, if you want to access, for example, in this case, to the open weather API. But uh, you have all the code here with all the different views. For example, this is the home page, and it's uh, an interesting way to also see what are the possibilities, what kind of applications you can create or even learn. If you want to learn from others, from real applications, it's a good way to do um, the learning in this way. If you have learned something new or liked the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon.